I want to share with you uh, some of the things that have happened to me in my life. Um, I had a near-death experience in about 1964, and it really shifted some things in my thinking. And as I've explored this, I've found that, that my whole life has been, uh, in a sense, somewhat unusual. As a child, I knew things that um, I just understood them and didn't know how to explain them. I spent most of my life not fitting. I have to own up to that. I just didn't feel like I fit. And today, I'm working on trying to be present here because I realized that once I had gone into the light and met God and, and the angels and whatever you would like to call it, that, that I just have a longing to be there. But I came to an understanding that I needed to be here, present in this body and in this life, to be here for other people so they could, so I could give them the understanding or just be there for them, I think, that is being present for them. And that's what has been my struggle, is being present, truly being here and not wanting to be there. And so I'm exploring that inwardly and outwardly, is how am I present? And, of course, what does that mean? I don't really know, couldn't describe it, except that it's, it's my experience has been when I have been present, that it, it's very calm, very serene, and it's a wonderful place to be. Yeah, part of me still wants to be out there. I miss the light. I miss the love of God. Yet it's always there. I know it's there, and I'm finding that I need to bring it here. And I think that's part of my personal mission and purpose in being here, is to be able to share that experience and that love here and let people know that it does exist, and I know it exists. And sometimes I'm a little sad because I miss it, but I also have learned to appreciate and love being here, too, and, and, and sharing with people here for so much of my life. I wasn't able to share because I didn't understand where I was. The, 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 how would I put it? It's hard to put it in words. I long for that love and that joy and that enfoldment and that warmth that I can't really put into words that I experienced after that experience in 1964. I just, and, and it's still there, I can still see it. I close my eyes and I still see it. And so it's a challenge, but it's a challenge to be here, but it's just an adventure. I know that when it's all over, if the whole world collapses and no building falls on top of me, it doesn't matter because that's not me. The body might be destroyed, but that which I am, that spirit, that soul, whatever you like to call it, is always and always has been. So, again, I'm back to, to struggling with being present and not wanting to, to be there. It's kind of a funny thing. People want to be in, in the, the happiness. I've been in the happiness. I want the happiness to be here. I don't need to go out there. I need to be here. So that's what I wanted to share is... We're here for a purpose, and it's an adventure. And it can be joyous, but with the joy comes the pain. We cannot know one without the other. And that, that I find, is, 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 is not so much of a challenge now, because I realize when I'm having what some might term a bad day, things aren't going too well. That's when only to make me appreciate the sun when it comes up and shines, or when I meet someone unexpectedly at the grocery store, or wherever it might be that I could share and just be kind to them, open the door for them, smile at them, maybe say something completely silly. <laughs> so they'll laugh and give them a little happiness. And I don't really have to do anything. It's really about being. And, and the doing will come as I am being happy, being at peace, being here, being present here, fully here as much as I can be. So my life has been, like I say, quite a struggle at times because I didn't have anybody to explain this to or to ask about it. And back in 1964, there were no books. Nowadays, there, there's an enormous amount of material written on this uh, near-death experience. And some, there's also a term called transformative 
um, spiritual experiences, and people have that too. You don't have to have a, a life-threatening situation um, to have an experience, so to speak. And uh, I'm just grateful to be here, and I just wanted to share this joy that I know with everyone else that is interested and curious. And it's something that I know, it's not a belief, it's something I know, and it's a different, it's different than just believing it, it's just I know it, it's there. I close my eyes and it's there. And I just want to bring it here, I want to bring it here to share with people so that we can all be growing in this, this light, this joy. It's hard to put it in words. It really is hard to find words. Uh, words only point kind of in a direction. They really cannot say because they just can't. So that's what I want to share today was just my, you know, what I've been through and my experience and my joy in being here, but also the challenge of being here. But I'm here and I want to be here for now because I know when my time is up, so to speak, when I've done all I can do in this body, well, I will go back into the light. I'm already in the light. And then perhaps I'll get a new body. It doesn't really matter. It's about being here now and accepting as much as I can and offering that which others need. And they, it's their choice to accept it or not. It doesn't matter. That's, that's another part of this being is... is I am not here to force anybody to do anything. I'm just here to be happy, and that is such a key. So that's what I wanted to share with you today, and what can I say? God bless you. God is waiting for you. God is right here with you. The angels are all around us, and life is, is an experience of joy, but it does have its ups and downs. And uh, thanks for being here with us and sharing with us, and I'm grateful for everything that comes my way every day.